Mastering life experiences with present perfect tense. Hello, English language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to take an exciting journey into one of the most engaging aspects of English grammar, the present perfect tense. Specifically, we will be focusing on using this tense to discuss our life experiences. This usage brings your English conversations to life, making them more interesting and rich. So, let's jump right in. The present perfect tense is formed by combining has or have with the past participle of a verb. It's usually used to express actions that have taken place at an unspecified time before now, or to describe life experiences up to this point. An example of present perfect tense is, I have visited France. When we use the present perfect tense to describe life experiences, we're talking about things that have happened at some point in our lives before now. The exact time is not important, it's the experience that matters. Let's look at a few more examples. She has traveled around the world. We have eaten sushi before. They have met famous celebrities. Notice how each of these sentences emphasizes an experience that has happened at an unspecified time before now. Ever and never are often used with the present perfect tense when talking about life experiences. Ever is used in questions, as in, have you ever met a celebrity? And never is used in negative sentences, like this. I have never been to Africa. These words can help emphasize the life experience aspect of the conversation. Practice makes perfect. Try forming sentences using the present perfect tense about your own life experiences. Remember, the exact time is not important. I have blank. You have blank. She has blank. Fill in the blanks with your own experiences. That's all for today's lesson on using the present perfect tense for life experiences. As we have seen, this tense is a wonderful tool to make your English conversations vibrant and exciting, allowing you to share your experiences without focusing on specific times. Keep practicing, and soon it will become second nature. We hope this video has been helpful, and remember, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep enjoying the journey of mastering the English language. Happy learning!